Hey everyone, today we are going to discuss how we can automate water change system without drilling aquarium. When it comes to aquarium, everyone loves it, especially planted aquariums, which is nothing but a slice of nature at home. But whether it's planted tank or normal aquarium, there is a huge amount of efforts required to maintain it. When I talk about planted tank or normal tank maintenance, I am simply referring to the weekend water change. Normally it is required to do a good amount of water change either weekly once or weekly twice. It depends on the type of livestock you are keeping in that aquarium. Water change not only removes fish waste and uneaten food, but it also removes the organic buildup which you will see in planted tank. And it will also remove the nitrate which normally builds up throughout the week. Whether it's a planted tank or any tank, water change is not only essential, but it's must. Now, doing water change is not an easy task. You have to carry the pipes, you have to fit it to a hose, and then you have to siphon out the water from your tank, and then you have to refill it. It takes time and it takes effort. Now, there is a way to automate the water change system, but in most of the cases, you'll find it requires drilling your aquarium. But what I'm going to show you today, you can automate your water change system without drilling your aquarium yes you heard it correct without drilling your aquarium you can automate water change system and we are going to talk about it in details on screen you can see a blueprint of my automated water change system i use a submersible pump to pump water out of my tank and at the same time Fresh water pours in my aquarium from tap. I use a float valve to ensure I am not flooding my apartment by overflowing water from the tank. Here is how float valve looks. It's secured tightly with canister inlet. I used more than 5 zip ties to ensure its position is made rigid and no one can move it even by force. Float valve will allow water to reach a certain level and after that it automatically stops water. So I will never ever have any occurrence of flooding my apartment by overflowing tank water. I use reverse osmosis pipes to transfer water across my room. I secured them using multiple hooks and it's hardly noticeable. Laying pipes across doors is always tricky, but I managed it correctly using tapes and doormat. At the time of water change, I simply plug in my submersible plumb. What it does, it simply removes the tank water and it pours it into my sink. At the same time, I also open my tap and fresh water pours in my tank from there. As you can see, I used a pressure valve to reduce water pressure coming from tap. I also kept an opening or a small outlet pipe. This helps me to measure water temperature and adjust it. I have provision to mix hot and cold water in my tap. So using this technique is really helpful. I try to set tap water temperature close to my tank so that my fish will not get any kind of temperature shock at the time of refilling my tank. As I mentioned, during water change, I open the tap so that fresh water will pour in 
to my aquarium and at the same time i also switch on my submersible pump what it does it removes the old water from this tank so at the same time fresh water is being poured into my aquarium and old water is being removed and i continue it for 2 3 hours now let's jump back to the blueprint one more time as shown here sink 1 and sink 2 may not need to be two sinks i used two sinks in the picture for better understanding you can use one sink to fetch fresh water and dispose old tank water at the same time please note sink needs to be higher than the tank water level otherwise even if you switch off the submersible pump all tank water will siphon out to the sink I hope you like this video and it will be really helpful if I get your feedback on this particular approach. If you are using automated water change system or if you are planning to use automated water change system then I like to hear what are your thoughts and ideas. So please feel free to put a comment. If you like this video then please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in next video. Till then take care and goodbye.